Hello everybody, Jimmy here. When I take the time out of my day to talk to you, it's because I care about this country. I care about the future of my ch for my children. I worry about the future for all fellow Americans. We worked hard for forever. You know, we saved this planet from a lot of things, world wars, from probably nuclear you know, wars and everything, you know, that would have ended civilization as we know it. But what really worries me these days, uh, written in the 70s by a guy, Saul Akinsky, it was how to create a communist state. And this really worries me because, you know, he was probably somebody that was way ahead of his time. It says here, health care. Control health care and you can control the people. That sure sounds right. You know, if people don't have their health, how are they going to fight back? Poverty. Increase the poverty levels as high as possible. Poor people and also people on pot are easier to control and will not fight back if you are providing everything for them. Sounds right to me. Debt. Increase the debt to an unsustainable level. This way you are able to pay your taxes and will not produce more poverty. Sounds right to me. Gun control. Remove the ability to defend themselves from the government. That way you are able to create a police state. As much as I don't want to bring it up, when the Boston bombers you know, bombed uh, the uh, marathon up there, Look how fast the uh, police mobilized and they did a house-to-house -house search. You don't think that could happen to take away your guns? That's pretty scary. Welfare. Take control of every aspect of their lives. Food, housing, and income. One of the biggest cities in, in the United States, New York City, look at the progressive mayor that you have there. Talk about taken from the rich and given to the poor. When did you ever go looking for a job, you know, from a poor person? Awfully scary. Education. Take control of what people read and listen to. Take control of what children learn in school. Well, in New York City, under the progressive mayor there, you could see that happening. And in the government, there's such chaos with the education, you know, that we're going to be bringing up kids that are smoking pot all the time and don't care what's going on, sure sounds like a communist state coming. Religion, remove the belief in the God from the government and schools. You know that's all playing. You know, I mean, every day you read some other atheist coming up, take this, uh, you know, can't have the statue in front of the school, do that. In New York City, when they took over parochial schools because they needed the uh, space, the first thing that went were all the religious things, crosses, statues, and everything else. Class warfare. Divide the people into the wealthy and the poor. This will cause more discomfort and will be easier to take tax. The wealthy will support of the poor. Do you know in Russia, you know, before uh, the wall came down, there were more billionaires in Russia than there were in the United States? That's because of class warfare. So if you look at these eight things, and look up the altar, Saul Ackenstein, S-A-U-L-A-L-I-N-K-Y-S. Look up the eight steps to how to create a communist state. If you people want to live in a communist state, don't do anything. Sit back, have a beer, you know, Watch the government take away all your worldly possessions and we'll all be living in projects somewhere. But if you, if you want the America that I remember and that I grew up in, you know, stand up for your rights. Get out there and vote. I can't tell you who to vote for, but you better vote for some new people instead of these old people that have been in the Senate and the Congress for 35 years because they're part of the problem. They think everything is okay. They think everything is peachy keen and fine because they're taken care of very well by the government. Even look at it this way. The President of the United States, okay, 
he's just on a high playing field of being on welfare. Everything is paid for by him, by the government. Okay, all the million dollar vacations, all the golf outings and everything else. So he is a president of the United States that really been on the dole of the government forever. He never had to go and sign a paycheck or anything. If you don't believe we're going right down the toilet, don't watch any more of my videos. I couldn't care. I'm warning you, though. I'm warning you where America is going, and it's not a pretty sight. God bless us all, and I hope for the best for this country. I'll talk to you all soon. Bye now.